Yek Shimesh. Welcome to FCA Jailbreaker release video. Today we have our most important person, and that's Ugly Bob. Unfortunately, he cannot show his face. It's not that he doesn't want to, but he's so ugly, we are afraid that he will scare you and maybe make you blind. So let us introduce you to the FCA Jailbreaker. Uh, the history behind this is actually the Rax Jailbreaker that is from the 8.4 Uconnect that we see in Dodge Ram, uh, Dodge, any Dodge from 2013 to uh, 16, uh, and Chrysler, of course. And uh, we did this back 2013. I think we went uh, uh, public with it in 2014. Uh, but then we found out that uh, 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 both Jeep, Fiat, and Alfa Romero also have a navigation that this will work on. And this is the 6.5 Uconnect. Okay? There is 5 inch Uconnect, but it's not uh, supported and it's probably some Windows crap we're never going to look at. But these two, as you can see, are more or less the same. Okay, this from different areas. I mean, one is for US and one is for, for, for Europe. Okay, uh, this unit comes in a different uh, uh, frames or bezels. So this is a Fiat, but uh, the, the Jeep uh, Renegade has a little bit uh, different, uh, but they're all the same, okay? And uh, if you want to know a little bit more about it, what people think about it, search on Rax Jailbreaker and Google it, all right? Then you will see a lot of reviews and videos, and etc. Now we're gonna show you how it works in, in the car. Um, this is the cable you get with the FCA jailbreaker. 99% of the jailbreaker is done by software. So it's software that's inside of the unit. Then you get a cable. Depending on if you have a rev cam or etc., it might have three video inputs or two video inputs. Okay? And just to uh, clarify one thing is that a lot of people are afraid about the software. Don't be that because you can always go back to OEM stock software. So if you need anything during the warranty, you can always roll it back. We call it the rollback software. And that's also uh, uh, something you will get when you buy the FCA jailbreaker. A rollback software going back to stock. But now we're going to show you live how it works. Okay, Most interesting stuff. See you soon. This is how the FCA jailbreaker works. In this Fiat 500X, we already have a rev cam. So that means that we have two video inputs, what we can do, whatever we like to do. All right? So in this car, we have now installed a front cam and a baby cam. Okay? To force any cam, uh, any cam at any time, uh, you press the back button. Okay, I keep it for three seconds, and now I have my baby cam. This is my dog. She's a bull terrier, 12 years old. She's lovely. All right. Then I can switch to the rev cam, and I switch to the front cam. I call this the forcing modes, okay? I can keep this on all the time. The only problem is with the rev cam is that the rev cam is controlled by a LIN bus. That's a, ca a kind of CAN bus that tells the camera to shut off. It's not that it doesn't have any power anymore, it's the processor that goes to sleep. This LIN bus is external from the navigation so we cannot control it okay whenever i choose or whatever i choose i can always press the screen and i will go back to original user interface all right 
So the front cam is something that a lot of people are using. So normally their setup is rear cam, front cam, and then an extra video input. In my case, in this car at the moment, I put in the baby cam so I can watch my dog. All right, but it's just your imagination that sets the limits. Okay, you can uh, you can use every kind of media player as long as it has an RCA output and you get the sound and everything. It's also a movie in motion or a lock pick or whatever people wants to say. Uh, we call it lockout, means that you can always use all the features that normally is locked while you're driving. Even though I don't recommend doing a lot of stuff when you're driving, but you can at least do it, okay? Then we have a couple of features and normally set up is like front cam, front view, cargo cam and a lockout on a car that has a rev cam from the beginning. If it doesn't have, we can add it because we have three video inputs. If the car is equipped with rev cam, you have two video inputs. The cargo cam is called uh, it's called cargo cam because we did this on the RAM, so it's always been a cargo cam, but now it's not any cargo cam, but the video input is still called cargo cam, all right? Uh, the front cam has also two features. One that comes, whatever you like it or not, is that when you put in the drive, as I do now, you get the front cam, okay? If I move forward, I can choose to watch the rev cam, okay? And vice versa. So if I put in the rev cam or rear, rear gear, I can roll back worth and then look at the front cam. This is something we call Park View Pro, okay? This is something you cannot take away. But then we have this front view. Front view is something that splits people, okay? A lot of people hate it actually. I love it. Uh, what it does it's always turning on and turning off the camera, front cam, okay? So if I go into a parking place and go below 18 kilometers an hour, it will turn on. And directly when I go over 18 kilometers, it turns off. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it looks. So um, the thing is that if you don't like that, you don't have to use it. There is no need to install this feature because we have a lot of features. We have a lot of features coming. So don't install it. Okay? But without front view, the front cam will still go on when you put in the D gear or the first gear. Okay? Uh, something else is also that if you want if you don't want the front cam, you can use that as an extra video input, okay? And then the front cam will not be uh, available at all. You can use it for another source, whatever you like, okay? Anyway, I put in the drive, the front cam goes on, and I start rolling, okay? When I come over, 20 kilometers an hour, it goes to the normal user interface. When I slow down, it comes back. This is what we call front view. If you don't, you like it, but you don't like it, remember that you can always press and it will only, uh, only come on next time you go over 18 and back down under 18 okay and I can force the camera
I can force the rev cam and go, but as I said before, the limb bus will take it. So now when I go over again, I'm gonna have the rev, but if I go over 50 kilometers, it's gonna turn blue. Actually now I was over 55. <laughs> so it's a good question. I think I've seen it turn on after like a timer set I have been driving pretty fast with it okay I can always turn on the front cam and keep it on as long as I want if I have front cam it will blink a little bit because it turns on and turns off at lower speed <laughs> so fucking cool man this is what you get from oh, just a cable and a little engineer. bit of software. Aaron, you Man. quantum physics in you. And it's all we about a real service how here. good program you have. I'm joining the club. Jeep you Renegade. Really smart about this Fiat. Kind of stuff, but I know New York. Alfa Romero. You, a car from my you can office. have it. <laughs> you can have oh, 6.5. It's a Cadillac. Cadillac. There you go. Let's go. Oh, oh, did you want to? Sorry, I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay.